I'm James Williams with Discovery News. A new Discovery Channel program is using new technology to revisit the Kennedy assassination and possibly dispel some of the myths surrounding that tragic event. We called Steve Schliebe, one of the forensic experts featured on the show, to ask him three questions about the assassination and his work in general. What, what tools do you have today that investigators probably would have wanted back in, in 1963? The technology that was available then, if applied, could have been used in the same way that we applied it today. The special that's coming up, you'll, you'll see that um, Tom Bevel and I didn't have any specialized equipment out in our evaluation of the blood spatter evidence. Blood spatter evidence has been around for decades. The ability to evaluate it has been around for decades. What do you think is the biggest misconception about the assassination of JFK? I, I guess the greatest misconception is that there, there must be more, there has to be more than one shooter, um, maybe having to do with the so-called pristine bullet. There's a, that, that was a big misconception, because if you actually look at that projectile, it wasn't pristine. It was actually flattened. And so... Um, Carrying on the myth that it was a pristine bullet seems to have uh, caused people to think, well, it must have been planted or it couldn't have gone through two bodies. Um, so I, I think that is one of the big misconceptions of the case. What makes a good forensic scientist? Good forensic scientist? Searcher for what the truth is, regardless of who it's going to help. Um, letting Letting the most important thing be the evidence and, and not who it's going to benefit or who it's going to hurt. <laughs>